On behalf of our entire organization, I'd like to welcome each of you to the Ignatian Family Teaching for Justice. 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 We know from Ignatian spirituality that what we most deeply desire and what stirs us at our core has been placed on our hearts by God. Being able to attend the speaking virtually and listen to the impactful stories of people from all walks of life left me in awe of the strength of the Jesuit community throughout the nation. Um, and so what we ask is that you begin to look into some of the ways dominant culture shapes figures and informs the viewpoint of how we see other people that we might not have come into close proximity with in order to form our own opinions. I came across a career I can do to make sure we get as much representation as possible and get justice for all people of color and families traveling into the United States. Now, I am not telling you this to persuade you to become a lawyer or shape your life towards a career with justice. I am pushing you to make a stance for those who fear or can't stand up for themselves. I believe our faith must be rooted in the real presence of God. You must let God ignite you. Let His Holy Spirit burn within you. Let it bring an unquenchable thirst for justice, for doing good, for defying all odds, to revolutionize the world with tenderness, with God's love and gentleness that touches every heart. I want to encourage you all to become active change makers and get involved with your community as soon as possible. It is important to recognize the need for change and take action for the causes that you all believe in. After hearing my presentation, I would like you all to prioritize the needs of your city's most vulnerable youth living in those under-resourced communities. Equity and inclusion is essential for the betterment of society as a whole. Spreading awareness is crucial to the process, but actually getting involved and engaging with schools, community members, and other organizations is a key element of uplifting others in the youth. We are at a pivotal moment in our country's history where calls for racial justice must be met with removal of the racist laws we still have on the books today. Severe punishments like these have driven the mass incarceration crisis that has destroyed lives, families, and entire communities, particularly communities of color that have been historically deprived of supportive investments and programs while being targeted by policing racism and oppression. To me, it's not always about the exact words, but about the overall message and the central message that is shared among many faith traditions from all around the world. This epiphany may have occurred in a Catholic concentrated community, but it brought me closer to my own faith tradition as a Hindu 